I think I think to measure success in financial terms is is a very poor way of looking at things. Money helps in a lot of ways. You want to run a business, you've got to at least make a living. I don't think it's number one. I was fairly close to somebody whose brother committed suicide. This is a guy far wealthier than me, enormously wealthy, and he killed himself because his his life was in despair. And some of the best and happiest people I know are actually quite poor. Pastor of my church, for example, in, in material terms, he still got the furniture he had when he got married 40 years ago. He's not a wealthy man, but he's a successful, successful man. I think that success has many different avenues. Um, Happiness is part of success. If you are miserable, no matter how much money you've got, to my mind, you're not successful. If you are a failure as a parent, no matter how much money you have, you are not successful. If you're a failure as a member of the community, if what you achieve in your business does no good for anybody else but yourself in massing money, then you are not successful. You know, they looked. At, I, I, one thing I love to do is read up research about happiness and what makes people happy. And this is based on psychological studies, a lot of studies. And they find actually money's not even in the top three. Number three is a sense of community. Number two is a sense of mission and purpose. And one is, number one is relationships. And I believe that that is the measure of success. The most, one of the most successful men I ever knew was the, the, the best job he ever had in his whole life. He was, a, he was basically a tram conductor but he had six amazing kids. He was a great father, great church leader. And to my mind, and I know some of his kids, and, and he is a very, very, very successful man. One of the, one of the um, statements I live by is no other success can compensate for failure in the home. I absolutely believe that. I, I, look, I like, I think it's good to be successful. I like what I can do with the money. I have a purpose for it. I can certainly look to my family, but one thing is, I do not live rich, and I do not believe in living rich. I still clean up my own chook house, I, I grow my own potatoes, I help with the washing up, I drive my kids to school, I, I, I do a basic housework and so forth. I, I, I like that kind of life, because wealth in itself can be corrupting. It's a great tool, but it's a poor master. And I think one of the things I'm determined, I'm not going to leave a lot of money to my kids because I don't want them to be corrupted. The last thing I would ever do to my children, the worst thing I reckon, is to leave them so much money they never need to work. Because work is a blessing, work is something we should do. Nor do I ever intend to retire. I could have retired 10 years ago. I never intend to retire until I'm so sick to work. So I'd say success, my primary success for myself is not my business. It's the fact that I've got a wonderful, wonderful wife and great kids. Honestly, that's number one above everything else. Need